Hello and uh, welcome to this uh, new ATDI online training session. Uh, today uh, the goal uh, will be to provide an overview of uh, ICS Telecom's capabilities. ICS Telecom uh, is ATDI's uh, flagship product for radio communication uh, analysis and planning and optimization for civilian technologies and applications. ICS Telecom Overview. Uh, basically, ICS Telecom allows the planning uh, in an advanced stage and also the optimization of any radio communication network uh, in the civilian space. It allows the complete rollout of a radio network design. It does allow as well interference calculation and analysis. And of course, it, it does support and integrate uh, engines such as automated uh, frequency assignment uh, and spectrum optimization. It, of course, it does support uh, a comprehensive choice of propagation models. Uh, among the capabilities, key points are uh, comparison between measurement and simulations, thus allowing uh, model tuning capabilities. And uh, an interesting and key aspect of ICS Telecom is that it, it does handle all type of databases in terms of import and export capabilities. The main features are the, the following in terms of uh, network design, simulation and optimization, site searching, site optimization, validation, network densification, coverage calculation and improvement based on specific targets and goals, automatic uh, propagation model tuning, basically based from import of field test uh, measurements. ICS Telecom does handle microwave link networks, its design and optimization. It does allow the calculation of path flows, path budget analysis, and of course for data centric network, all type of traffic handover calculations based on population databases and features such as a frequency reuse, optimization, and so on. Uh, in terms of technology, uh, the key message is that ICS Telecom does support all radio technologies deployed in civilian markets around the world in a single all-in-one package. This means that any user of ICS Telecom can create and manage a project that integrates and take into account any type of technology simultaneously. This basically allows um, analysis, fairly complex analysis of coexistence between interfering and competing networks. And of course, as part of the technologies covered by ICS Telecom, all mobile networks going from 2G to advanced data-centric networks such as WiMAX, LTE, and also uh, PMR Tetra networks. Uh, ICS Telecom does handle all broadcast technologies deployed in the world, including DVB-T, DVB-T2, ISDB, CMMB, TDMB, DTMB for Asian countries. ICS Telecom also supports microwave links and specialized functions for aeronautical space, radars, multilateration modules uh, and all type of uh, radio networks that is deployed uh, for any type of application, any type of entity, uh, mobile operators, broadcasters, emergency services, uh, airport uh, areas and so on. ICS Telecom is basically software that runs off on any Windows based environment and is a fairly easy to use uh, software and solution. Now at this point of time the idea is to switch to the actual ICS Telecom software to basically show what a project uh, looks like in ICS Telecom and what the major groups of functions are. Here we just open ICS Telecom a solution with an existing project. So what is a project in ICS Telecom? 
a project in ICS Telecom uh, is composed of different layers. First of all, cartographic data, including a digital terrain model layer, an image layer, a color palette, a clutter layer providing ground occupancy information in each point of the map, a building layer providing building height and structure information in every single point and this for high resolution cartographic databases, vector layers that may include uh, information such as roads, railways, different types of contours, borders, and so on. Also, key elements of a project are the PRM files that basically contains all the parameters that define the projects and the simulation environment. The key element that defines the network is the network file uh, with an EWF extension that will contain all the objects that basically create the network, typically all base stations, including other types of objects such as microwave links, radars, wind farms, satellite earth stations, and so on. And finally, all outputs of ICS Telecom are generated in FLD files and may contain maps such as coverage maps, interference maps, traffic, handover maps, and so on. So basically, we define the various components of a project in ICS Telecom. Now we can flip through the various layers. Here we are focusing on a dense urban area, and we have um, a high-resolution cartographic database of one meter resolution with a digital terrain model that provides elevation in each point, an image that can be an aerial or satellite image, a clutter layer that basically provides ground occupancy in terms of classes and it will tell you and provide the information in each point whether it is urban area, water, open area, roads, railways, airports, depending on the number of classes, and a building layer that provides building height and structure information in each point. Of course, digital terrain model, clutter layer, and the building layer information are being used in all calculations uh, in ICS Telecom. Now, typically on this screen uh, and on this zone of interest, uh, we are basically seeing some objects which are basically base stations. Here we are dealing with a, uh, a small LTE network in a dense urban area. ICS Telecom has some import and export capabilities. This means that you can do anything manually for small networks in ICS Telecom. You can import or export to and from basic uh, ASCII text or CSV formats, or you can interface with the most uh, common database systems such as Oracle, SQL, Access for heavy data and large uh, and wide area networks. Also, ICS Telecom does feature some 2D and 3D display for visual analysis. Here, for instance, we are switching in a 3D viewing mode. ICS Telecom uh, does provide the possibility to do some path calculation and profile analysis between any two points of the network for instance, between one that base station and a point on the map. And basically, you will get uh, instantaneously uh, the corresponding profile uh, showing the digital terrain model as well as the building information, the Fresnel ellipsoid, and the signal propagation and attenuation between the two points that have been selected 
on the map. The main network planning and optimization capabilities are in the coverage menu that I am highlighting right now. Network calculation will basically allow to do some coverage calculation. And in order to do this, the simulation environment needs to be defined. And for this, ICS Telecom provides a wide range of propagation models supporting all types of ITU recommendations, deterministic statistical empirical models with the possibility to import some user-specific propagation models and providing a wide range of options in terms of diffraction models, subpath attenuation, impact of the climate, reflection modeling, 3D modeling, and even taking into account indoor propagation of outdoor uh, network signal uh, as needed. So basically a very comprehensive range uh, of simulation conditions. Also, once calculations are done in terms of coverage, it is possible uh, to provide the composite coverage and are provided for analysis purpose many types of views uh, that can consist of composite coverage as we said, bare server coverage, available servers, coverage overlapping, margin display and so on. But before that, let's go back to uh, the definition of a network. A network is a group of objects, and objects may be base stations. What is a base station in ICS Telecom? Here we can add a station manually. Of course, we could import thousands of stations in an automated manner. You can basically select a type of transmitter, a typical transmitter receiver here, which you are going to assign a technology. It could very well be an analog or digital broadcast technology, 2G, 3G, WiMAX, LT technology, and this basically demonstrates the, the ability of ICS Telecom to uh, support all technologies in a single project. General parameters are being defined uh, in this tab. You can load antennas patterns, antennas types from libraries horizontal, vertical pattern, import in various types of formats or select from an integrated library. You can define a default or preliminary frequency plan. You can define side constraints and additional specific parameters that are associated to the defined technologies. And then you have the possibility to manage your network through a station list where you will have the flexibility to manage them all grouped or partially grouped or individually to isolate, mask, activate, deactivate, change some parameters and so forth. And of course as part of the radio planning process all parameters that are defined for a given stations will be subject to optimization. Coverage calculation we've covered, different views for analysis, network interference calculation and for instance digital single frequency network analysis. ICS Telecom also supports uh, an integrated automated frequency planning engine which provides the flexibility to define the methodology, the mode, the rules, the calculation methods uh, to basically derive the, the optimal frequency plan in order to minimize interference within the network. ICS Telecom allows provi also provides the capability to do traffic analysis, handover analysis, and this is based on population database. Population database can be imported from existing database or ICS Telecom does provide the capability to generate random subscribers uh, based on uh, population density for a given clutter class and uh, define some resource requirements in terms of uh, bandwidth. 
Also, as part of the network planning process, the prospective planning capabilities of ICS Telecom. The prospective planning allows uh, the users to basically allocate a budget for potential additional sites uh, or gap fillers or relays in order to meet some very specific goals in terms of coverage. Now we are going to go to the next menu that basically shows uh, ICS Telecom's ability to handle uh, micro uh, where you will be able to basically configure, import your micro links, calculate interference, go through frequency assignment, and so on. Other menus in ICS Telecom, which again is a fully integrated solution supporting all technologies and all functions in an all-in-one package, uh, basically uh, allow to manage coexistence between technologies. We can manage population databases and go through parenting and traffic analysis and so on. Then we have some technology-specific menus for WCDMA, LTE networks, uh, ICS Telecom does support uh, satellite functions allowing to compute uh, satellite coverage on the ground and also to analyze coexistence between satellite earth stations and coexisting uh, technologies and services. Also ICS Telecom allows the import of uh, field test measurements in a, pretty much any type of formats in order to go through the process of correlation in order to tune the models. The goal being that ultimately ICS Telecom will integrate the most accurate models in a range of 95% accuracy uh, for future simulations. So the goal of this presentation was basically to provide an overview of the main capabilities of ICS Telecom, which again is an all-in-one solution supporting all radio technologies with a comprehensive uh, range of uh, functions. We are going to provide additional modules to get more into the details of very specific functions and technologies. And also, we invite you uh, to visit our website at www.atdi.com where you'll find some great resources uh, in terms of uh, technology, uh, white paper, and radio planning and radio network optimization methodologies. And uh, of course, if you have any specific questions, you are more than welcome to submit that to the following address, which is sales at atdi.com. We thank you for your attention and we're looking forward to having you on our next uh, video module.